on guns. My next guest has strong words for me. He says, I'm off the rails on guns in America. Ben Shapiro is editor-at-large at Breitbart.com and the author of Bullies, How a Left's Culture of Fear and Intimidation Silences America. So why am I off the rails, Mr. Shapiro? Uh, you know, honestly, Pierce, you've kind of been a bully on this issue because what you do, and I've seen it repeatedly on your show, I watch your show. Um... That was a dope song, man. I'm, I'm sorry, Connish, for doing you like that, man. I'm, I'll go and apologize publicly to the people, man. For real. And I've seen it repeatedly. What you tend to do is you tend to demonize people who differ from you politically by standing on the graves of the children of Sandy Hook, saying they don't seem to care enough about the dead kids. If they cared more about the dead kids, they would agree with you on policy. I think we can have a rational political conversation about balancing rights and risks and rewards of all of these different policies, but I don't think that what we need to do is demonize people on the other side as, as being unfeeling about, the, about what happened in How Sandy How dare Hook. you accuse me of standing on the graves? of the children that died there. How dare you? I've seen you do it repeatedly, Pierce. Like I say, how dare you? Well, I mean, you can keep saying that, but you've done it repeatedly. What you do, and I've seen you do it on, on the program, is you keep saying to folks that if they disagree with you politically, then somehow this is a violation of, of what happened in Sandy Hook. And you have yet, I, I, I'd really like to hear your policy prescriptions for what we should do about guns. Because you say that you respect the Second Amendment, and you yeah. know, I brought this here for you so that you can read it. It's the Constitution. And I, I would really like for you to explain to me what you would do about guns that would have prevented what happened in Sandy Hook. If you want to do what you did in the UK, right, which is ban virtually all guns, that is at least a fair argument. And we can have a discussion about whether that's something that we ought to do well, or I've not. I've made it very clear what I want to do, which is exactly what Mark Kelly wants to do. And in fact, rather than address okay, so your... let's talk about that. Rather than address your... Man, Ben Shapiro came to play, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's a jerk. But um, and I know y'all saying he's, he's just assertive and he's um, and he's sure and confident of his facts that he bring to the table. OK, um, but at the end of the day, um, I like the fact that he's like sitting man to man across from his um, the person who believes opposite of him. And he's challenging him. He even bought literature, the Constitution. Like, OK, if you want to say something that's inside of here. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to hear you out. If not, what the hell are we talking about? Let's exactly go. Exactly what Mark Kelly wants to do. And in fact, rather than address okay, so your... let's talk about that. Rather than address... Also, guys, if you like this style of content, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Also, the notification bell. So the next time we, re we release content, you'd be the first to be notified. And if you prefer music reactions over this political stuff, please follow LFR Family Plus. Thank you. Express your comments to me about uh, standing on the graves of children at Sandy Hook. You can address them to Mark Kelly because he agrees with everything that I've been saying because he feels the same way as does his wife. They're gun owners. They both respect the Second Amendment of the Constitution. They don't want to take away anybody's right to defend themselves with guns. Well, they, they want to take away certain types of guns, obviously. They want to take away assault weapons, which are capable with magazines like we saw at Aurora and Sandy Hook, of unleashing... Uh, a ridiculous amount of bullets. Well, this is a question I wanted to ask you, Pierce, because I've seen you I've seen you talk about assault weapons a lot, and I've seen Mark Kelly talk about assault weapons. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of murders in this country that are committed with guns mm -hmm. are not committed with assault weapons. They're committed with handguns. Okay, so this, are you this, willing to ban handguns in no, this country across no, the country? No, that's not what I'm asking for. Why not? Let me ask you... Don't you care about the kids who are being killed in Chicago as much as the kids in Sandy Hook? Yes, I do. Then why don't you care about, about banning the handguns in Chicago? No, we'll come to that. Let me ask you this. Answer the question, man. It could be a really good conversation if you just answer the question, bro. Like, seriously, you got a man sitting across from you right now, and he's presenting some other options to you. This is your show. You can take over and bury him with facts if you have them, but you're, like, you're, you're looking weak by constantly saying, no, I'm not listening to what you're saying. Let me ask you another question. No, I'm not listening to what you're saying. Let me ask you another question. That only makes me, I mean, people like myself, like, um, bruh, what are you hiding? Or why are you even sharing information in the first place if you, um, if you clearly don't have the knowledge to back it up? Like, I, this is someone who don't even know. Um, like, I'm not very familiar with the topic that they're discussing. Like, I don't, I don't follow any of this. But if this is my first time watching it, and it is... I'm like, dude, you just for this to be your show, you seem like you're on Ben Shapiro's show. Let me ask you this. 
What was the weapon used at Aurora in the movie theatre? It was in uh, it was it was an assault rifle, sure. Okay. What was the weapon used in the Oregon shopping mall? Uh, I believe it was an assault rifle, correct? Okay. What was the weapon used at Sandy Hook? It was an assault rifle. Uh -oh. What was the weapon used at the uh -oh. incident around Christmas when the firemen were lured to, lured to their deaths, the New York State firemen? And bought illegally. That was it. That was a, that was an assault rifle. Right, so the last four mass shootings in America were all the assault rifles. And the vast, vast, See, that, vast that is the reason, well, Mr. Shapiro. And you can smirk at me, and you can laugh at I'm me, not smirking. and you can accuse me of standing on the graves of dead children. And being a bully, yes. But that is the reason that people like me and Mark Kelly and Gabrielle Giffords want to have assault weapons like that removed from civilian hands. You're now, I know y'all say, look, protect your guns, keep your guns. But at the end of the day, he just now made a good point. He does not make a good point. I'm going to look at my comment section and people are going to say, he did not make a good point because blah, 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 blah. This, this is covered under our assault rifles, are, are covered under blah, 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 blah. He made a great point, an excellent point in my opinion. Um, and I know the handguns that people are being shot by um, in places like Chicago or in any inner city, <laughs> um, they're using those handguns, but he's talking specifically about these these mass mass shootings um, at all these different places he named. So I, I would like to see what Ben Shapiro has to say. And Ben Shapiro called him a bully, too. He said, and you're being a bully. Ben Shapiro, you lost a point on that one, bro. You lost a point, man. You was bullying the hell out of him, and I was giving you your props. And now you're calling him a bully. Usually when people do that, they do that because they realize that they're getting their, they getting their butts kicked. So I want to see what you come back with. Want to have assault weapons like that removed from civilian hands. Your passion that on is the, the issue point. doesn't really justify the, the rationale for why you want to ban assault weapons. You but don't not understand handguns. why we want to remove the preferred weapon of choice. Uh, these killing machines well, I would like from you the hands of deranged young men. All I'm asking is for you to be philosophically consistent. If what you're worried about is the removal of killing machines from the hands of mm -hmm. deranged young people, then maybe we should talk about a blanket gun ban. And let's get to what the left really wants here. And, the, you know, you say that you're for Why the second Why is it about minute. left or right? Because in Britain, this never is about left or right, this issue. Why is it here? Well, you know, we can talk about Britain in a second. I think the reason that it's about left and right Okay, here. now, Ben, you're doing the same thing, brother. Now you're doing the same thing. You're trying to protect a side... And you're trying to protect the you're trying to cloak your argument in the the Second Amendment and you're not answering what he's saying because you're you're in the art of debate right now. This is no longer a conversation. It it is is you know what? If two people can sit down and just hash it out through a through a conversation, things could happen if people aren't coming in there saying no I'm um, this is my side I'm leaning here I'm gonna die on this hill both of you are saying that we're gonna die on our heels nothing is gonna be fixed from this at all because I see exactly what both of them are saying but it's it's, it's pointless almost here is because fundamentally the right believes that the, the basis for the Second Amendment and they believe in the Second Amendment the basis for the Second Amendment is not really about self-defense and it's not about hunting it is about resistance to government tyranny that's what the founders said and that's mm -hmm. what the right believes in this country. Which tyranny are you fearing yourself? Uh, I fear the possibility of a tyranny rising in this country in the next 50 to 100 years. Let me tell you something Pierce. The fact that my grandparents and great grandparents in Europe didn't fear that is why they're now ashes in Europe. So this this kind of leftist revisionist history where there's never any fear of democracy. Wow. So that so y'all think that something is about to pop off in in um, within the next 50 to 75 years now because that was uh, that was back in 2013. So y'all think that something's about to pop off, something's going to pop off. And when it does, you want to make sure that you're prepared to be on the side that wins the war that happens. Hmm. Explains the whole guns thing. I got to step my guns game up then. I need to go give me some guns. If y'all know of some good places I can get them for free, please let me know. Because <laughs> guns are expensive as hell. I need me some guns. And I need me some, I need some big guns too. And, and gun shelves. I need all that. <laughs> if there's going to be some tyranny, I want to be on the side that's that where, where my guns are protected. <laughs> Protect my guns. 
going usurpatious or tyrannical is just that, so it's just, just to clarify your position then, the answer to Sandy Hook, as it was to Aurora, as it was to Gabrielle Giffords, as it was to Columbine, Virginia Tech, is you do nothing. Is that your position? And that's not my position. What I is actually, your position? My position is that we have to calibrate laws that are designed to get hands out, guns out of the hands of bad people, Mm -hmm. and keep guns in the hands of good people who want to buy them. This how idea do, of more guns versus less guns. How do you guns, do that? Uh, well, I think one of the ways that you do that is by better screening for mental illness. I think that you do better background checks. Was Adam Lanza's mother a good person? Uh, I don't know whether she was a good person or a bad person. Was I know she's irresponsible evidence? with her guns. Has there been any evidence to suggest she was not a good person? No, but there's been a significant so evidence to suggest... No, she there's a, been, she so would have been... So here's a lie. Wait a minute. By your criteria of the good people should be allowed the guns and the bad people shouldn't, she would have been allowed the guns. She was an irresponsible person. She didn't keep right. her guns locked up. And, okay. that, and that should be against her. Okay, so there's another part to it. Come on, they keep on going over and over and over again. Y'all need to understand, too, there's a whole bunch of people running around who are the good people with guns right now. Legal, they're, they're you know, all of them are registered and everything. And these assholes are just waiting for a war to pop off so that they can start passing them around to all their friends and their cousins and they can just do the damn thing and just take over. Listen, listen, listen. A lot of them people are mentally incapable of um, making certain decisions, but they got all the guns in the world. So I don't think, I think, uh, man, gun control, what are they doing now? What type of strides have they made since since here? Like, are we in a good position when it comes to gun control? <laughs> I really need to know, man. She would have been allowed the guns. She was an irresponsible person. She didn't keep right. her guns locked up. And, okay. that, and that should be against the so law. If you have a mentally ill person in your house, right. so then I mean, these, we're talking about laws that we right. can both agree then on here. I don't know why you're disagreeing with me on this. Then she becomes a bad person, does she? Well, no, it's not a matter of, it's not a matter of morally well, good versus morally bad. You set the criteria, bad. good and bad. Well, so I'm, is she good or bad? You're right, Pierce. I should have said responsible versus irresponsible. Mm. That's correct. Okay, so she goes from good to bad. No, she goes from responsible to irresponsible. Let's take a break. Let's come back and talk more about this because we don't agree. <laughs> I left um, again, guys. If you like this sort of content, please do me a favor hit the subscription button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so the next time we release some um, content, you'll be the first to be notified. Uh, my name is Ben Shapiro, editor at large at Breitbart.com and the author of Bullies. Do you believe that uh, if you had an assault weapon, ban statistics prove that you could dry up the supply of these guns and make them less accessible to criminals um i don't know whether you could make them less accessible to criminals let's assume that's the case that you could make them less accessible to criminals again my question remains for you peers and i'm still waiting for an answer from the left on this mm. they say they're pro-second amendment why don't you want to ban handguns if you really want to solve the quote-unquote gun violence problem mm. in america go after all the guns why just stop yourself at assault rifles because i believe and respect an American's right under the Second Amendment of the Constitution that you kindly brought in to defend themselves with a handgun or a pistol. What I don't understand... But most of the murders are committed with those weapons. What I don't... Well, as we just established, as I talked to you through them, the last four mass shootings in America... Adam Lanza had two pistols on him. Well, he, he didn't did, just have an assault rifle. If he, he hadn't had the assault he rifle... He didn't use them, as you know. And if, he, and if he hadn't had the assault rifle, he wouldn't have used them? Explain to me this. I can't buy this. This is six packets of Sudafed. They're mm -hmm. one of the many companies that make this particular... Uh, ingredient which you can't buy legally in America. There we are, six packets. That is illegal for me to buy in that quantity in Walmart, say. Mm -hmm. But I can buy an AR-15 military-style assault rifle. I can then, as we saw with uh, Holmes the shooter in Aurora, going... So I just got to go to Walmart? How much are they? <laughs> How much are they? Can I just go to Walmart and get one? That's what I, that's what I want to figure out. Can I just go to Walmart and... Um, in, 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 in cop one of those, Dale? I get 6,000 rounds of ammunition from the internet and I can go and blow up a movie theatre. Do you think that's right? Well, we can talk drug laws another time, but no, I think you, that the question think that, is... Does that make sense to you? It, no, I think, that what, I think what would make sense is laws that are calibrated to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. So, if, the, if you think that the problem is, so which, is only assault rifles... Which guns would you remove? I, would, I think the ones that have largely been removed from the market, fully automatic weapons, would be, would be a good start. Mm -hmm. um, I think that... You, you wouldn't know, remove any semi-automatics at all? And no, because semi-automatic just means that when you pull the trigger once, one bullet comes out. Do you most, understand most how AR-15s perform? Essentially when, do you understand how an AR-15 performs when it's been modified and has a magazine with I do. Bullets? I saw it in the North Hollywood shootout. You know what? It was illegal to do that, and people did it anyway. Mm. We, have, we have 12 million illegal immigrants in this country. Mm. We're not able to stop people, people from coming illegally into this country over the southern border into places like California, where I live normally. Uh, I, I think you'd be very hard-pressed 
to stop guns from coming across that border illegally as well. I mean, right. California has some of the strictest would gun laws Would you want every American to have an AR-15? Uh, no, not every American. Who would you stop? I would stop anyone with a criminal background. Mm -hmm. I would stop anybody with a history of mental illness. Mm -hmm. And I would stop, and, and I would ask, and not ask, I would require that people who have somebody who has a criminal background or a history of mental illness in the household mm -hmm. keep that gun locked up and safe. What about the background checks? 40% of all... Uh, gun sales in America now, gun trades are not covered by background checks. I believe in background checks. For everybody? For everybody. So there should be a database, a national register? Uh, if it's not public. I don't, I don't like what happened with the Journal News, putting out gun permits, which allows criminals to target particular homes. When the NRA came out today, uh, after the meeting with the White House, and just said we're just not prepared to entertain effectively any kind of new gun restrictions. You, you what do you think of that? What's astonishing to me is the left's attack on the NRA because the NRA is, they, they don't receive a dime of public dollars. They're not, they're, they're an interest group. I don't mm -hmm. see, you know, it's funny, the left, they like to talk also about violent video games, Can for example. Can you stop framing it as left or right? Because sure. I don't have a horse it, in the race. I'm going to vote either way. As oh, you come know. on, Piers. You, 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 you tend to be more to the left. Right. We all understand The that. NRA, as you know, are a very active and well-funded and powerful body. And what they do... Why are you asking? Let, let me I just do, want to finish the point do, then. Let me finish. Sorry, let me this, finish. Is, this is very quick, I promise. The, the, the point that I'm making is this. There's a lot of been, been a lot of talk by a lot of people about video game violence. I haven't seen David Gregory interviewing the head of the ACLU and saying it's your broad interpretation of the First Amendment that's responsible for this. But people are bringing on the NRA and saying it's your broad interpretation of the Second Amendment that's responsible for this. Mm -hmm. They're an interest group. If you want legislation passed, right. talk to legislators. Don't, the go, NRA, go, don't go to an NRA, the NRA, which is representing its membership. Here's what the NRA and people like Alex Jones and others do. Don't let me in with Alex Jones. Fine. After each of these massacres, they come out. Uh, all the gun rights supporters come out very strongly and very vociferous and they're in very defense. powerful. And they basically instill fear. They say if everyone in the movie theatre if everyone in the movie theatre had been armed, if everyone at the school had been armed, it wouldn't have happened. And here's what happens. Gun sales and ammunition sales rocket, as we've seen in the last three weeks. Oh, don't pass the buck, Piers. I mean, the truth is that the, reason, does that people, happen? The, the reason that people are buying a lot of guns right mm -hmm. now, Piers, is because people on the left are talking very much about banning guns. And fear, fear. And so a lot of people... Fear. Fear runs up the numbers of, um, for gun sales. That's what runs up the numbers for gun, shell, gun sales. Fear of losing your guns or fear of being caught slipping at a daggone um, event and, and someone coming there tripping with a daggone um, machine, machine gun or something like that. Like um, fear is what's driving up these these numbers now obviously if the nra were to make a statement like that then then uh, or someone of note makes a statement um and like that and it's very timely people are going to start running those numbers up they're going to go and start being prepared and and getting their their guns and stuff sheesh i need to step my gun game up all the way up all the way up. I'm People are saying, if I can't, if I'm not going to have the right to brother. purchase a weapon of my choosing in two months, I'm going to go and buy it now. This is very clearly why what's going Why did Ronald on. Reagan want these assault weapons removed? You know, I, I don't know why Ronald Reagan wanted these assault weapons removed. You're a bit of a, you like Reagan, right? You I like Reagan in a lot of ways. Like he, he's not a god. I don't agree with him on everything. Did you agree with him? He also about believes in the weapons? progressive tax rate. I don't believe in that. Did you agree with him about assault weapons? Um, I, if, if if I'll believe what you're saying, sure. I, I don't believe. Did I don't, you know I, his I don't position on it. assault weapons? I don't know what his position on assault weapons was. Why don't you tell well, me? let me read the letter in sure. full. This is a letter that he penned along with Presidents Ford and Carter in 1994 to Congress. While we recognise that assault weapon legislation will not stop all assault weapon crime, statistics prove that we can dry up the supply of these guns, making them less accessible to criminals. We urge you to listen to the American public and to the law enforcement community in support of ban on the further manufacture of these weapons. That was Ronald Reagan. Okay, so. I mean, I can disagree with Ronald Reagan. You keep framing this as a left-right debate. No, I mean, I, I'm putting is, it to you. How is this a left-right? One of the great right-wing presidents of modern times agreed with me. So? So it's not left or right, is it? No, I mean, it is. Unless it, you deliberately it has, frame it in that way. Okay, here's, In the way that the NRA through the 80s okay. and 90s and this last Here's decade, avoiding the breakdown of left and right. I've deliberately here is, tried is to frame this as a left wing attack on the American Constitution and the Second Amendment. It's exactly what you've tried to do. You come in, you brandish your little book as if I don't know My what's in My little book, there. that's the Constitution yeah. of the United States. Our founding document I know what's in your Constitution. Do you really? I've been debating this for a very long time. Then you what should I read the Second Amendment again. What I, I know the Second Amendment. What I haven't heard is one coherent reason why any civilian in America needs an AR-15 military-style assault weapon. Tell me why you need one. I because of tyranny, something's going to pop off in 50 to 100 years.
And he don't want to be left as dust. He want to be the man that's standing looking like Rambo with all the guns and letting people know I'm protecting my house, Jack. You're not coming up in my house, huh? You're not coming up in my house. Matter of fact, man, please, when's my next big check coming, YouTube? I know what I'm going to buy. And then we going out, we, we about to go practicing and, and, and all that other stuff. What in the world? Needs an AR-15 military-style assault weapon. Tell me why you need one. I told you why why the general population of America, law-abiding citizens, why need do they AR need those weapons? They need them for the prospective possibility of resistance to tyranny, which is not a concern today. It may not be a concern tomorrow. Where are you expecting could the be, tyranny to come from? It could come from the United States because governments have gone tyrannical before. Do you understand this is, how absurd you sound? When uh, you say this, that. Here's where you go into the absurd and the bullying. You're yeah. absurd. You're stupid. I'm I understand. That, of I'm not the you one are. that came in here and accused you. Of standing on the graves of dead children because that's you're the one who's doing that bullying punching that's back twice as hard bullying. you know what i call it St punching back twice as hard in the in the, in the no, words no, of president that's Obama. what i call bullying and oh, this the way is astonishing you, what's astonishing what's about astonishing it? about it is that for weeks now you have been saying that anybody who disagrees with your position is absurd idiotic and doesn't care about the dead kids in sandy hook and then when i say that that's a bully tactic you turn around and say i'm bullying you for saying that it's absurd it's ridiculous let me ask you again let me tell you something man I don't care what y'all say about that young guy. I'm talking about Ben Shapiro. He's a he's a he's a debating freak. The dude can debate. I don't care what y'all say, man. He's he's holding his ground. You want to go back and reference history and whatnot? He can go right there with you. He don't have any he don't have any um, producers in his ear telling you another thing to 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 pull up for the conversation or any of that. Like he don't, he's up against an entire team essentially, and he doesn't have any of this stuff going along. He can just bow, 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 and, and keep that bad boy. He keeps it going. This dude, he's a great debater, man, <laughs> a master debater. I told y'all before, y'all thought that was a corny joke. It was, but he is a master debater, man. Pause. What is the point of a civilian having an AR-15 assault weapon? The point of a, a civilian having an AR-15 assault thing. weapon, many of them are ex-military, right? I mean, I have military friends, and I have no pro I don't have a problem with Colin Powell owning an AR-15 assault weapon. And what is the it's point of everybody. a civilian owning them? It depends on the civilian. If it's a criminal, they shouldn't own Any, them. No, forget criminals and mentally ill No, people. but that's, you can't, you can't separate that out. An average civilian an average who hasn't got civilian. a criminal record okay. or is mentally ill, why do they need one? To protect against the possibility of eventual government tyranny. This was the purpose of the Second Amendment originally. It remains the purpose of the Second Amendment now, and pretending that governments have never gone you surpatious before from a dem so you democratic genuinely position. believe your own government is going to turn on you in a way that you require it may not turn an on AR-15 to challenge them. This it is may what you really believe it is may not turn on me. It may not turn on my America. children. Is that it, may what not, you think? it may not turn on me. It may not turn on my children. Mm. But the fact is this: history is replete with democracies going tyrannical. Mm. It has happened. It happened in France in the 19th century. It happened in Spain in the last century. Okay. It happened in Germany. It happened in Italy. Okay. It has happened repeatedly throughout. So the, it happened in Japan. The reason we cannot remove AR-15 assault weapons is because the threat of your own government turning on you in a tyrannical way. It is be yes. It is because that is your it, position. It is because there are countervailing okay. rights and responsibilities. And okay. we, I, 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 here's what, no, I, think Pierce, made, I don't understand why we can't position, come to a, Why can't we come to agreement about reasonable you, law? You just you want to demagogue the issue. You have made your point crystal clear. People aren't stupid. They can make up their own minds. Ben Shapiro, thank you. Wow. That was actually the best conversation that I've heard tonight. Um, I know that a lot of people don't feel like hearing this stuff all the time. But I'm, I am I learned a lot from this right here. Um, and, and I need to step my guns up. That's what I need to dag on do. Huh? Yeah. Second Amendment, Jack. I need to step my guns up. Matter of fact, I'm going to start doing my reactions with two guns like this. Uh, all right, for now, uh, 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 I might even shoot them up in the air and everything. Pow, pow. React to this. I mean, I'm subscribed to this right here. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put them back in the holster like Clint Eastwood. Yes, sir. 
Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. You guys have been amazing. Love y'all. Bye.